Hey, Elizabeth Countess of the Low Carb here, and on this episode, we're going to talk about carbohydrates, fats, proteins, and your macros. Hey, what's up? It's Elizabeth, Countess of Low Carb here, and on this episode, we're going to talk a little bit about your macros, a little bit about carbohydrates, a little bit about protein, and a little bit about fats. So if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up or consider subscribing. Okay, so let's dive in. I've gotten a bunch of questions on, and I'm going to pull these up, a bunch of questions on um, about your macros, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, all of that stuff. And I want to keep it real here with the Countess of Low Carb YouTube channel about what I do in my 40 pound weight loss and what's worked well for me and not give you a bunch of fluff that hasn't really worked out for me. So rewind a little bit. Rewind. My rewind is that um, tracking. I used to do Weight Watchers for a long, long time. Like since I was 19 years old, I, it's going back decades. I'd be on Weight Watchers of counting points, tracking things. And for some people that works great and I totally applaud them. That is awesome. If you can do Weight Watchers, great. That is lovely. But for me, I could not do it. <laughs> I could go maybe 10 days, 12 days, two weeks was probably about my max until I caved in <clears throat> and didn't do very well with it. And what I found through keto, low carb, high fat diet, Atkins, all kind of all along the similar page is that I was satiated, I was full, I wasn't having the mind cravings of thinking about what's my number and what's my tracking. And that for me was worth its weight in gold, literally carry gold butter, <laughs> literally it's weight in gold um, from not having to track something. So when people talk to me about tracking their macros, I kind of recoil a little bit just because that's not my journey. Now I want to encourage each of you, lots of people do that. That is part of their journey. But what's worked well for me is tracking my net carbs. So net carbs are your carbohydrates minus your fiber equals net carbs and from there that's really helped me um, track my carbohydrates because I go around 20 carb grams um, and in that point I stay in ketosis um, it's really more of a strict program but it's because I'm on a journey I've got I've got a long way to go I've lost 40 pounds but I still am on this weight loss journey of more weight that I would like to release so with that I stay in the 20 carbohydrate gram net carbohydrate gram um, barometer and with that I can track 20 in my head I don't need a pencil neighbor I don't need to track it on my phone I don't need to make it a big hubbub I've got a two-year-old I've got multiple businesses I've got an enriched life just like y'all do I mean we all have enriched lives that I don't have time to pull out my calculator or this or that I can track net carbs though I can count to 20 that is one thing I can do is I can count to 20 so with that that is what I track however let's go back to the other part about protein and about fat and what I want you to do is I want you to do your own research on this I am not a doctor I am not a nutritionist I'm not a personal trainer what I'm simply sharing is my journey of how I've lost 40 pounds and I'm on the road to losing 50 pounds so I don't track the protein and the fat however you have to have high fat so for example having my keto coffee in the morning I know from having previously worked out the ratios if I have my keto coffee and here here's the link for my, my keto coffee video if I've had my keto coffee um, I know that I'm going to get my fats in and then eating some other things along with that that are higher fat contents. I know from my research that that balances itself out, so I don't need to track it. Um, same thing with protein. But if I find myself being hungry, if I'm totally lethargic, that tells me that I haven't had enough protein and I haven't had enough fats. Um, and there's other amazing ways to get fats in. And my most top trick is having the keto coffee to get that um, carry gold butter in to have that coconut oil in it helps with your skin I mean my skin has completely transformed that and for my water as y'all know I always have my water with me that's completely helped transform my skin um, of having those higher fats my skin was so flaky before my hair I had horrible dandruff that has gone away as a result of eating a higher fat diet and when people see the grease they think that it's going to clog their arteries and give them a heart attack I would encourage you do your research um, I've done my research and I know for my body of what works well with this and that this for me is a better diet for my personal body and the way that it processes so we're going back to the question of do I calculate the macros with the carbohydrates proteins fats no I just keep a running total of net carbs and I do 20 net carbs which is carbohydrates minus fiber to get my net carbs of 20 and then I know because I've done previously 
approximately figuring it out. And I would encourage you for my tip number two is do some pencil to paper math. You can use my fitness pal and your phone. I did that for the first week. I used my fitness pal just to kind of see engaging of where it should be. And the, the, the suggestion um, of what the breakdown is, I'll put it at the end of the video of what the particular breakdown is so you can visually see it on the visual learner, like visual thing. So I'll put that at the end of what the percentage should be. That's based off of a 2000 calorie diet. People also talk to me about calories. Do you track your calories? No. The only thing I track is my net carbs. And that works for me because I know that I'm doing a high fat diet. So why do I need to track my calories? To me, that goes back to the and if you have children, put earbuds in for them for not to hear this. But for me, it goes back to, it's a complete mind F if I'm tracking my calories. I personally, not each to their own, I personally cannot do that. It just starts messing with my mind. I'll try to start scamming the system, uh, doing weird stuff. And I just don't want to do that anymore. So what I, I do is I um, track my net carbs. I know that that's going to fall in the calorie range. But quite frankly, if my calories are high, it's, it, it balances itself out. It really is what I found is it balances itself out. So... That's my encouragement for y'all today. If people have asked me a lot of questions of how I do it and what I use and what apps I use, and y'all, I like to keep it simple. Life right now is, is challenging with a, with a young child and, and being a working mom like, like most of y'all are. It's challenging, and I can't add one more challenging piece in. And in this 40-pound weight loss journey, I want to make things as simple as possible. And to get to my next goal of losing 50 pounds, and by the way, that's how I take my my weight loss is five pounds, 10 pounds increments. I don't look at, if you have a lot of weight to lose, I don't look further than that. I can only look as closely, <laughs> keeping it simple. Only on the next five to 10 mark is where my goal is. Um, so with that, I, I, I only track the net carbs. And I would encourage you, test some things out. If you like pet, my, my Petness Pal on your phone, some other people have given me some other good app suggestions. That is awesome. If that works for you, great. But for me and what works well with my body is just tracking the net carbs. And with having that is for vegetables, of having the fiber come in with through vegetables. Um, having I like blue cheese, I like to have ranch dressing, keeping some of the sauces in there. Most of the meat doesn't have any carbohydrates in it, so I don't have to use that. There's usually zero carbs, um, and so that's usually where my tracking comes in. So, if you have any other questions, shoot me a message below. Would love to have it. Consider giving this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Countess of Low Carb channel. But I love talking with you guys. You guys are so motivating. And thank you for encouraging me on my weight loss journey and encouraging you on your weight loss journey. And keep ketoing on, my friends. Have a great day. Bye.